how are you? Thank you so much for being here and watching. Today we are going to be opening up the Boxy Lux for March. So in today's video we will do an unboxing, try on portion, if there's items we can try on, I'm sure there's going to be a few. And then I will review the December Boxy Lux. So I will leave timestamps down below if you want to jump around or skip the try on part, uh, whatever. Um, and after all of that, we will have a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you do not know what Boxy Lux is or Boxy Charm, I'll just tell you a little bit about that before we start the unboxing. So Boxy Lux is like an upgraded Boxy Charm. It replaces your base box every three months, so it's a seasonal subscription. It costs an additional $24.99. I just checked my uh, bank statement or like my tax. I get tax if like, I spend anything over $20 and mine came out to be $26.61 so that's in addition to your base box which is $25 so um, you won't get your base box every three months you will get the boxy lux and in this you're supposed to get over $250 worth of value and you get eight to nine full-size products you get to customize two of the items or up to two of the items sometimes only one uh, which is great so I do know one thing I might have chosen two, I can't remember, but I know one thing for sure that's coming in the box. I think I said it was over $250. It says it actually should be over $275 uh, worth in value, so I will add up the total at the end. Last month's box, which again we'll talk about later, had an insane retail value. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to BoxyCharm, I will leave the link down in the description box. Uh, right now when you sign up, there's two different options for free gifts. You can get a free palette or a free skincare item. So there's some codes for that. I will leave those down below with the link as well. So definitely take advantage of that if you want to subscribe. But anyways, let's get started. The box looks different this month. It's like longer. <laughs> I just made some noise. I took out all the foam just to make this part easier. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. There is a card and then all of the items are underneath. So there are variations with all the BoxyCharm subscriptions and I have variation number 13. And on here to list all the items, give a brief description and also give you the retail price. I am gonna start with the item I actually chose and this is a palette by Tarte. This is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Tartus Pro Remix. This is one with their Amazonian clay formula. So here is the outer packaging. On the back, it lists all the ingredients. Doesn't that seem insanely long? <laughs> Let's get it out and look. Ooh, I like the front of the package. It's so fun, it's like graffiti. I think the inside looks like that as well. Oh, I hope you guys can see this on camera. Isn't that cool? So there is a little protector and there's a great mirror on this. Awesome, it's huge. Oh, it smells good too. Nice. Oh, by the way, if my hair looks crazy. It was curled yesterday and I didn't feel like washing it today. And it just has a little bit more volume than usual. I just was reminded when I saw this great mirror. So, wow, there are a lot of shades in here. Here, is, it is up close. I remember um, watching, oh my God, that could have been bad. I'm a little hungover today. You guys cut me some slack, please, if I keep dropping things. Hopefully not. That kind of hurt. Um, but I was watching like something like Beauty News or like uh, Will I Buy It series of some sorts. And I remember when this came out, a lot of people were saying they didn't like the background. Uh, it does not bother me. And it doesn't bother me that some of them are circle shaped. Uh, but this is really pretty. So there are uh, mostly shimmers, it looks like. I don't know. I wonder if the circle uh, pans are different formula. Let's read about it. So the Tarte Tardis Pro Remix Amazonian Clay Palette is $49, so almost what I paid for the box. It says, prepare for an expression explosion. We're passionate about pigment and the sequel to our OG Pro Palette came to play. This rich, vibrant, 20 shade superstar is formulated to celebrate all forms of art and expression. It's ready to rock your world and remix yourself. I don't know if I wanna swatch like all 20. Let me do a few like, like this green looks cool. What other ones? Wow, just a quick swatch, and they're great. I'm trying to think. I haven't used a Tarte palette in a while. I think the last one I used was like one of those rainforest ones. It was just okay. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to play with this palette later on. All right, so the next item 
is actually another eyeshadow palette, which is crazy. So this is the BoxyCharm palette, and I believe the name of it is called Hello Charmers. And uh, it's like a sleeve here. Let's get it out. I think this might be the first time I got two eyeshadow palettes. So there is a mirror, and this is what it looks like. The protector is still on it. I might give this away. I have so many palettes, but I do want to try it out. So let's see. So the BoxyCharm Hello Charmer palette it is $39. Wow. Um, and it's BoxyCharm's brand, apparently. What's wrong, baby? Sorry, my cat's crying. <laughs> Archer! Uh, it says, this exclusive Hello Charmer palette features a blend of 12 matte and shimmery shades made specifically in our with our charmers in mind. These highly pigmented colors deliver maximum payoff while providing smooth texture for transitional day-to-night looks. All right, so I am going to try it so I can review it. And I'm just so curious about their, like, formula. Like, where do they make this? Oh, well, it says made in Taiwan, distributed from Miami. Yeah, I think Miami is, like, their headquarters, which isn't too far from me. That's why when everyone gets their boxy turn quicker, I'm like, what the heck? But I think they come from Georgia. Uh, so this looks pretty. Let's swatch a couple. I'll try and use shades from Bolt today. Um, if not, because I don't really know what I want to do yet, then I will do it and I'll, uh, use one of them in another video. Is this like a glitter? I don't know about this glitter. Um, I just swatched that there. I don't think I will put that on my eyes. I like how one of the shades name is Unboxing. Uh, they actually are really cute names. So there's Boxy Charmer, Full Size, Exclusive, Spoiler, Lux, Unboxing, Sneak Peek, Premium, Swipe Up, Pop Up, Cup of Joe. Uh, so I swatched a couple of them here. Sorry, my swatching game is not on point. Uh, but yeah, I think this looks cute. We'll have to try it out. I'm not sure again what we will do today with the look. Next up, this is um, a smart facial cleansing device by PMD. Uh, it says it has sonic glow technology, the beauty of silicone, customizable for all skin types, anti-aging facial massage, and it says ditch the cords. So it has four customizable modes and brushes optimized for all skin types with 7,000 vibrations per minute. You know, my dirty mind goes elsewhere. I'm like, four modes? <laughs> vibrations? Hmm? I honestly rarely use like devices like this when I get them, but I want to try this out. Uh, so this is what it looks like. I believe we could have gotten this in different colors. It is kind of like sleek looking. So there's this little thing you could, wait, what do you do with this? Is this the cover for it? Or do you hold it like that? And it does come with a battery, batteries included. That is nice. Let me put that in so we can try it. Let's see how much this is quick. Oh my gosh, this is $99 uh, and it says, PMD Clean is a smart facial cleansing device with over 7,000 vibrations per minute. Our sonic glow technology not only ensures a deep cleanse, but provides a way to lift, firm, and tone problem areas for a more youthful appearance. So I'm guessing we put the battery in on the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah, twist off. All right, it looks like there's a little button here. Oh, is mine not working? I wonder if I... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna be like washing my face and my roommate's gonna be like, what are you doing in there? But it's not too long. Uh, let's see what, wow, it feels cool. Well, it has a pulsating mode. A faster pulsating mode, can you guys like hear that? It has all these bristles on there. So I think you have to hold it down to keep it on or to get it on. Yeah, so I think this is, so they have, yeah, just two modes. One just gets a little quicker, and then they have the different uh, speeds with the pulsing. So I'm um, in, very interested in trying this. It seems like it'd be really easy to clean, too. I've been kind of obsessed, like, today about cleaning. I mean, I bet a lot of people in the country or in the world are with all this coronavirus stuff. Uh, but usually the reason why I don't use these types of devices is because I'm lazy. But this seems, like, super easy to clean. So I am excited to try this out. Again, I'm going to be reviewing this in a future video for sure uh, in my next Boxy Lux. $99, wow. What is it supposed to do to my skin? Oh, you can use this to uh, massage serums and moisturizer into the skin. I was thinking you use it to cleanse. Man, this is anti-aging, that would be great. 
Next up, it looks like we have a nail polish duo by Deborah Littman. Uh, I actually have to paint my toes tonight. I like took off my old nail polish. I'm just looking awful. Uh, so maybe I will use one of these later. I normally get dip manicures on my fingers and I've been just avoiding it. Mostly because I'm like avoiding like communal places. Well, not really. I like went out last night. But um, I heard like information about how dip nail polish, like you can spread germs through it. So I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. So I've been also lazy, but yeah, I should say, excuse my nails, please. My toes would look a lot better, but these are pretty colors. Uh, one is called Fire on the Horizon, and the other is Can't Stop the Feeling. We've gotten a duo, I feel like in a past box deluxe, but I think I gave it away, just cause I don't use nail polishes as much. Oh, these are so cute and little. I'm glad they're this size. Um, I can't imagine ever finishing a nail polish, but I guess if you do it, your nails all the time. Um, so this is Can't Stop the Feeling and this is Fire on the Horizon. I think I might use this Fire on the Horizon on my toes. That'll be pretty. I'm just gonna put some on a piece of paper <laughs> so we can see what they look like. I'm ripping off pieces of this. Ooh, these are super pretty. So if you wanna know, this is like the size of the brush or the width. Cause I've heard people talking about how like certain brands have different width brushes. Yeah, I think these are so pretty. I don't know why I felt the need to do this on here. I feel like you can get a better look at them, or I could too, to like see what I could do later, but let's uh, learn the pricing and stuff for this. So this nail set is $19, wow. And it says, the new healthy alternative to gel polish combining the technology of Gel Lab Pro with nail color, this dual patented formula with 10 active ingredients help deliver health, wear, and shine. Nice. Next up, we have something here by Becca. This is Becca Skin Love, the Glow Glaze Stick. It's the outer packaging. So I think this is like a highlighting stick. It says, love your skin instantly and over time. It's made with vitamin C, cold pressed avocado and melon blend and bitter ginger. Your post facial glow in a stick, an ultra sheer translucent highlighter that that imparts a dewy sheen to skin, enriched with Becca's Glow Nectar Brightening Complex, Vitamin C, Bitter Ginger, and Cold Pressed Avocado in, mel in Melon Blend. For healthier looking, more radiant skin, one universal shade creates a glass-like ethereal glow on all skin tones. Apply on the high points of the face or wherever you want for the added dose of dew. I feel like we're getting a lot of Becca in our boxy charms over the past year. I actually chose um, the Becca blush for my choice for the premium box in April. What did you guys pick? Uh, so this is what the, it looks like. It's a universal shade. Can you see that? Oh, I need to clean my hand. So I just used some micellar water. Uh, to take off the shadows and there is some glitter so I'm going to try and put it on part of my hand uh, without the glitter so you just can roll it up here let's see how much product we get I honestly never reach for oh well, it just keeps going yeah you get a lot in here um, I don't usually reach for products like this but I want to start getting more into cream stuff uh, so let's swatch it I don't know why I feel the urge to smell it doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to have much of a color, just like a dewy effect. So I guess that is how it can be universal. That makes more sense. Because when you look at it here, it looks like it might be, have like a little gold in it. Uh, but we will try this on the try and portion. I do have powder on my face, so we'll also uh, be able to see if it works that way or if it's better under powder like most cream products are. Uh, how much is this? Well, this is $28. It says your post facial glow in a stick. Oh, it says what we already read. So, yep, $28. All right, we have just a few things left. Uh, next up is a little duo. Uh, I love <laughs> these actually. This is by Sol de Janeiro. We have the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, which I love so much, and also the um, Coco Cabana Cream. Uh, this was funny when we first got this in a past boxy charm. Was it that? I or was it Ipsy? I don't know. But people like really like debated what it smells like. Like it's supposed to smell like, let's see, what does it say? Yeah, it says this um, Coco Cabana one. It smells, it has a fragrance of young green coconut cream, tropical orchid, and toasted praline. But a lot of people when they smell it, smell like buttered popcorn. Uh, so there wasn't a safety seal. Or maybe it was like on top, because there's a little product there. I can kind of see the buttered popcorn. If I use one of these, I kind of like it. Um, 
The Boom Boom Cream smells amazing. This is supposed to like be really good. What does it say? It's supposed to help visibly tighten the appearance of skin with an addictive pistachio and salted caramel scent. Mmm, smells so good. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. I wish we got bigger sizes because I go through these so quick because I love their stuff. Oh my God, I had their, uh, I think it's actually called Foreplay, their body wash, and it was my all-time favorite, and I really want to buy a new one, but I shouldn't because I have other body washes. They just have the best fragrances, Sol de Janeiro, I love it. So how much is this little duo? Uh, so it's $15. Yeah, totally happy to have these. Like I said, I just wish they were a little bigger. Like, I wouldn't pay $15 myself for this, but let's move on to the next item. There's only two left. Uh, so next up it is an item from NARS, and this is going to be going in the giveaway later in this video because um, NARS is not cruelty-free, and I will pass this on to one of you, and it's in the shade Wild Night. Ooh, it looks like it's purple. I actually had a NARS like purple lip gloss that I got in a box of some sort in the past that I just gave to my aunt. I'm guessing that's the color. I'm not gonna swatch it because, like I said, it's gonna go in a giveaway. I do like the packaging of NARS, it's very sleek. I bet this is expensive too. Uh, yeah, $25, that's a lot for a lipstick. It says it's a power matte lip pigment uh, potency and precision, the ultimate power couple. A powerful concentrate of our most powerful matte yet. Fluid pigment complex, liquefied pigment with a zero gravity feel introduces infinite matte color saturation with ultra flexible, long lasting wear. And the last item, kind of strange, I feel like I might have actually picked this. I can't remember what the other option is, uh, but this is the second day in a row I've gotten some reusable straws from a box, but I don't mind because I think uh, more people should have them. And the straws are one of the biggest, like, wasteful items that end up in the ocean, but I won't get into that. So this is by Bombshell Baker Glitzy Gold Stainless Steel Straw Set. It's $21. It says, enjoy your favorite beverages while looking good and being environmentally friendly with this five-piece stainless steel straw set. It includes four gold straws and one cleaning brush. And it's in this nice pouch. It feels nice, so. Ooh, like bougie straws. So this is what they look like. Nice, I will definitely get use out of these. I was gonna say, I could put one in my water now and try it out, but I like to clean things first before I use them. So that is everything that I got in my March Boxy Lux. The total value for my box is $295, so it is above that $275 that they guarantee. And again, I paid just over $50 probably with taxes for this box. So now we will do the try-on portion. I guess really all we'll try-on today is that glow stick and my well, try-on the lotion already and the eyeshadow palette. So stay tuned. All right, so I think I decided I'm just going to use one of the palettes that I'll use the Tarte palette in this video. And I've been wanting to do like a chatty get ready with me type video. Uh, I will do that using the BoxyCharm palette sometime soon. Uh, if you guys have tried it, definitely let me know. So there's not too much to try here. Tried the lotion, love them. Nail polishes look pretty. Uh, let's try this stick. Usually I don't like putting it right on my face, like stick products like this, because I feel like it can move my foundation around. So I'm gonna start off with my finger, and then I do have a sponge here uh, to try as well, a dampened sponge. You know, I actually really like this. I feel like it gives just like a dewy effect. Let me see in a closer mirror. I have like one right below me about this one. My little cat mirror, you can see better. I don't think it is picking up my foundation or powder or anything like that. Yeah, I can definitely see this being universal because it doesn't seem to have actual color, just like dewy. I'll try it with a sponge on the other side, see if that makes a difference at all. Yeah, I don't know if it's cause this is damp and I have like powder on, but I think I like it with my fingers better for now. Um, so let me try that again. I'm honestly shocked how much I like this. That's really exciting. Should I put like a little bit on my nose? <laughs> Maybe a little up here. It 
So yeah, first impressions, I like this. I love when I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, let's move on to the Tarte palette. I'm so excited to try this out. I did um, prep my eyes earlier with some of the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, like I always do, trying to use that up, but I don't know if I ever will. Um, but I didn't set it down, so I am going to uh, set my eyes with this like, well, my skin type color, let's see. Yeah, it's like a little beige color. I'm just gonna set my eyes like that. I always like to have a base before I start my eye look. And I'm gonna go in with the shade right above it, Wall Art, uh, for my transition shade. It's like light brown. There is some pickup. It looks like it's like getting on the palette, but I'm not that picky. That doesn't bother me. And again, I said this in a video I filmed yesterday. Don't blow on your palette, people. Don't blow on anything, really. I love this mirror. It's like seriously a good quality mirror. I'm sorry if you guys can't really see. I like this shade. It's like a perfect transition shade for me. It's blending out super well. I'm just using my Sigma E40 like usual. I feel like all the rest of the shades are pretty much shimmers. Like there's not really a dark matte for me to put on the outer portion of my eye like I always do. Like I always do the similar like technique or style uh, eyeshadow blocks. There is a black, or it's called ink, it seems black. Yeah, definitely black. But I would probably only use that to deepen up any shades, let's see. Maybe we'll just do more of a shimmery look today. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna put the shade Graphic, it's right here, sorry, I'm like not doing a good job of showing you guys. Um, in my outer corner, I just did a little swatch again. Um, you guys can't see here, let me put it on my hand. And it's really cool, it's like black with flecks of uh, purple glitter. That swatches so well. I'm not sure how it's translating on camera, I won't know until I'm editing, but let's try it out. I don't want too dark of a look, but I'll just put a little bit on the outer portion. I wasn't sure how it would perform with the brush and just swatch so well with my fingers, but I am liking this a lot. Yeah, so far this palette is super easy and fun to use, so now what? Hmm. Oh yeah, some of these colors, these like round ones, they are different. They're like duochromes. I really like them. Yeah, I honestly do wish there were more matte shades though. Let me see if there's one I can dip into from the box charm. <laughs> I've just been sitting here like doing little swatches all over me trying to figure out what I want to do. They all are so pretty, but I'm just having trouble thinking about like how I want to pair them. I think I'm gonna go with this blue shade Artist in like the middle of my eye. Let's see how that. Just getting a teeny bit of fallout. And then in that inner portion of my eye, I'm gonna go in with the lighter blue there, uh, Art Deco. So like these two shades up there I'm using. You guys, I'm honestly really impressed with this palette. Like, it doesn't take much work at all. It's all pigmented, but not like too pigmented that they don't blend or anything like that. And the colors, like at first I thought it was hard to find like a color story, or, like, or looking at this color story, hard to come up with the look, especially since it's mostly shimmers, but they're working well together. I am liking this look. <laughs> I usually don't do like blues and stuff like that, but I do like it. I'll probably just put a little bit of that brown on the lower lash line. Looking up close with this mirror, I can, like looking at my eye look, I caught um, that definitely using a sponge with the Becca highlight did move around my foundation a little bit. So I definitely would suggest using your fingers because that side looks so much better. Uh, but let's put something on the inner corner and then wrap up the try-on portion because that's all we have really. I think I'll just go in with the shade right next to the two blues we used called Inspiration. And I'm just going to stamp on um, 
the, the black in this palette on, on my lash line like an eyeliner. So first impressions, I'm really loving this palette. I definitely will do a, um, a nice shadow look with this palette before my foundation next time because I feel like you can kind of see a little bit of the blue that um, fell down. It's not too bad, but the, the fallout was pretty minimal, but I don't want little blue flecks. Maybe it's just sticking to my Becca highlight. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to play with this some more. So I'm gonna hop off camera and just put on some mascara, um, maybe add more lip product. And we will review last month's Boxy Lux quick and then talk about the giveaway. All right, so first impressions, I think this box uh, was pretty good. I'll definitely fill you guys in uh, in a better review in the next Boxy Lux. Uh, definitely standout item to me is this palette. I cannot wait to use it some more. I love it. I love my eye look, even though it's like different for me. Because like lately I've been like all into the mauves and pinks and stuff. I'll have to try out this BoxyCharm palette. Like I told you, I'll do that in an upcoming video. I am definitely excited to get the Sol de Janeiro creams. Pleasantly surprised with the Becca product. Uh, nail polish doesn't usually excite me, but I'm actually doing my toes tonight, so that's you know, helpful. Straws will be used, but not exciting. And I am excited about this facial cleanser. I'm actually gonna make myself use it. Usually like any kind of beauty tool, I just neglect, but I'm going to use it so I can review it for you. Uh, and with that, let's move on to the review for the December Boxy Lux. Now I do have most of the items here in front of me to show you. And I kind of wrote down all <laughs> my thoughts. Um, I rewatched my video today. I will link that down below if you want to get more of a first impressions of it as well. Uh, so last month, or last month, last box, because it was last season, I should say, uh, the value was insane. It was $485.50. But there was one item that was super expensive. Uh, we'll start in the order I just wrote these down, I guess. So uh, the first item I opened in the video was this IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. And if you saw the video or if you watch it after this, I was so excited to get this. Uh, this is a huge dry shampoo. Like, look at this. It's the size of my head. Uh, it's 6.3 ounces. Uh, I have to be honest, though, I'm not in love with it. I used it today to kind of remind myself. Like, I haven't been reaching for it. I've been using my other dry shampoos, but they're pretty much out. Uh, this one smells great. But I feel like, you know how you get white residue when you spray it? I feel like it doesn't fully go away. Uh, maybe I left it on my hair for too long. It says to uh, spray it and then, yeah, section, spray, wait 30 seconds, and massage in. I usually like spray my hair and then do my makeup and then kind of rub it in. But if you look really close, you can see little particles. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad for me because I am blonde, uh, but if you had darker hair, I just don't know if this would work for you. I am gonna use it up, but it's not something I would repurchase. Uh, the next item I forgot to grab from my shower, so I'll just tell you about it. We got a shower gel by Ritual. Uh, I think I put that in my shower right after filming that video. I have a couple body washes in there, but I still have some left, so it lasts forever. I really like it. So it comes out as a gel and then foams up, so a little bit goes a long way. You can like clean your whole body with just like a little pump. It smells great, cleans well. So yeah, no complaints there, and I still am using it months later. Next item I have only used once, and I just don't want to reach for it again. I thought about putting it on today since I can't use that NARS Lippy that came in the box. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know if metallic lips are for me. This is a Too Faced metallic, or Melted Metallic. <laughs> Let's see how they do that there. I don't know. It's called I Want to Rock With You, the shade. Let me do a little swatch. Uh, I guess it's not that bad. I just honestly haven't used it. I think I used it in like one video. I don't know if I tried it on in that actual Boxy Lux video. I don't know if I did a try on portion, but... Yeah, I have not reached for it since the one time I used it. I should give it another shot, but to be honest, like, since I haven't used it, it didn't really add much value to uh, that box. The next item I do not have, and this was the expensive item. This was $200, and this is the QMS Lip Line Corrector. Um, and when I opened my box of Lux, it was in December, um, obviously, <laughs> and my family was in town, so I think I, like, was, you know, like, showed it to my mom, and she really was interested in trying it and I feel like she could use it more like I don't really think I suffer from like 
like lines on my lip. I would like to prevent them. Um, so I gave it to my mom and before I started filming today, I texted her to like get her thoughts. I'm like, are you still using it? Do you like it? Did you ever really use it? And she said it is awesome and she loves it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think she would have paid $200 for it. I forgot to ask that. I don't think she knows the cost of it. If I told her that, she'd probably be like, what? Um, but she loves it. So yeah, $200 is probably, you know, overpriced. I doubt it's worth that much. Like, I don't, is anything worth $200 in skincare? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she said she loves it. And um, it still had value to me for this box since I gifted it to her and my mom is happy, which makes me happy. <laughs> Next up is an eyeshadow palette. This is the Storybook Cosmetics Little Briar Rose palette. It's gotten some buzz lately on YouTube, but um, I've used this a couple times. I honestly love the packaging. It's nice for like a display piece, um, but it is also bulky if you have limited storage space. I have only used the like mauve pink shades. I haven't done any looks with the blues, but maybe after today I want to. Uh, and I did like it. There's a mirror, which is nice. Um, it's fine. It's nothing like spectacular. It's not bad. I was able to create a pretty look, my like standard like pinky look, like I said. Uh, so yeah, so I should probably use this more, but I have so many palettes. I'm always like trying to review things, but yeah, this added value to the box for sure. The next item I love and also it breaks my heart. So the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. You guys, I loved this so much and I didn't realize I didn't fully close it and I spilt it. Oh, Archer's kind of meowing by me. Um, he's like sad too. He's doing his little sad cries. I spilt this oil and I love it so much. I like almost cried. <laughs> I have so much skin care. I mean, I know that's a little dramatic, but I was so upset. Like it's not like me to like knock things over. Well, maybe I'm not the most like graceful person, but I would normally take good care and like, you know, close it up and stuff, but I must not have closed it up the night before I went to reach for it and all of it spilled out, like all $80 of it. And then I saw it was going to be in the add-on shop for BoxyCharm this month and it was sold out. It was only going to be $12. It was normally like $80. Um, so yeah, I loved this oil so much. Like it made my skin just feel great. I was able to use it for a couple weeks before it spilled. Um, but there's still a lot left and I miss it and I can't afford to buy a new one. Uh, if you guys ever see it in like the charm room or add-on shop again or whatever, any sales, please let me know because I love this and it, I think it was probably like my favorite item in the box. Next up is a blush by Ciate London. I have that on today. Um, I kind of forgot about it to be honest, but I do like it. Um, so I used it today just to get a refresher. So this is what it looks like. There is a mirror, but... Sometimes with these little things, I don't really get much value from the mirror, but if you do your makeup on the go, maybe that's good. So I really like it. It's super pretty. Uh, works well with a lot of looks. I'm glad reviewing it now is making me think about it more so I can reach for it more often because, yeah, it's great. And then the last item that came in the December Boxy Lux was um, a non-cruelty free item. So I ended up giving that away to one of you guys. It was the Fresh Soy Cleanser. Uh, I know a lot of people were super excited about that. It's like a cult classic favorite. Uh, I just am choosing not to add cruelty, cruel products into my collection. And I think it's like 40 bucks. So it's expensive cleanser. People love it. Uh, so yeah, that didn't really add much to the value of the box. I do love giving stuff to you guys like I will be in just a moment. So overall, uh, it was a pretty good boxy lux. I think I would be a lot happier <laughs> if I didn't spill my Elmas. Uh, oil, but that's my bad, you know, nothing to do with them. Uh, that was definitely the standout item to me. All right, so now let's talk about the giveaway. I feel like my lighting might have just changed. The sun is going down. It's like 7.30 now or something like that. But uh, So I will be giving away the NARS lipstick, like I said earlier, and also this bag of goodies. So let me show you them, and then I will tell you quick how to enter. So it's full of stuff here. First thing is a little eyeshadow trio by Stray Cat Cosmetics. It's the Cupid's Kiss eyeshadow palette. You can kind of get a glimpse. There's a safety seal over it, so I'm not going to open that. And then I have a full size of the Tarte Base Tape Double Duty. So I have a sample of this and I do really enjoy it, uh, but I have so many primers. I would rather have one of you guys use this. I actually just talked about this in a video the other day. Was that? My other boxy charm? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so this will be in the giveaway. 
And then I have a liquid eyeliner from Il Maquillage. And this is in black, I'm assuming. Yep, in black. And then I have a lip gloss here by Floss in the shade Yule. The box is kind of ripped, but the product is just fine. I already had this and then I received it in my birch box, which was like so exciting to get a full size item. Um, but yeah, I already have this and I really like it. So one of you guys will get this gloss. It's like a perfect uh, everyday gloss. It's not sticky, it's pretty. And then two more things. I have an Ofra highlight. I love Ofra highlighters. They're like my favorite. And this is the Ofra and Madison Miller uh, highlight in Moon Dance. Let's open it for you. So, and this is full size. I guess everything's full size. And then last but not least, I have a brush. Um, so I just came across this. I have like so much stuff. Uh, I was like, I want this to be like a makeup heavy giveaway. I'm like, oh, a brush would be good for this. This is by Firma Beauty. And it's their brush number 102. It's still in the packaging. Uh, with brushes, you can really use them however you want. You can use this maybe for highlight uh, with your Ofra <laughs> highlighter. So that is everything. And the bag is included as well. Uh, I may throw in a little a few things too, but these are the main components. So let's see how many things are there. So seven or eight things kind of the bag uh, will be for one of you guys. So with all of my giveaways, it's super easy to enter. All the rules will be listed down below, by the way. Um, but number one rule, you have to be a subscriber because I want to give back to my lovely subscribers. I love you guys so much. Uh, and then two, like this video. And three, leave a comment down below, or you can really leave as many comments as you want. Uh, how I pick a winner is I use a random comment generator. So I'll pull up a random comment, and then I will make sure that person followed all the rules, uh, and so liked and subscribed. And then when that winner is selected, when verified, I will pin their comment, and I will reply, uh, letting them know they won. And the winner will have 48 hours to get back to me. If I don't hear back, I will select a new winner. So my giveaways are open to all of my subscribers. Uh, I just ask that you be 18 years of age or older or have your parents' permission. Uh, again, all the information will be down below. And I also ask that you guys watch this video in full. It really helps me out. And then I really know that you guys are watching it, not just for the giveaway. Uh, and also, if you want, please share it with your friends. Uh, yeah, usually I don't ask anything. <laughs> I guess with the giveaway I'm asking to subscribe, but YouTube told me the other day that I need to start like saying like, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell. <laughs> uh, so if you guys don't mind, that would mean the world to me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's probably super long, but now that I'm doing reviews and try-ons and stuff, that's probably just going to be my shield over here. So I hope you guys are excited about the giveaway. I think it's a good one. I hope you guys do too. But anyways, thank you so much for being here. I honestly love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.